What is up guys and welcome back to Pokemon News Daily for January 20th, 2019. I'm your host, Daddy Gamer Fred, bringing you a daily news show where I go over all the Pokemon news for today, from official news to the leaks to the rumors spamming across all medias of Pokemon, from the games to the movies to the anime. So if you want to keep up to date with the latest news, make sure you are subscribed right now with those notifications turned on. If you like today's video, be sure to leave a like down below. Also, be sure to leave a comment as well as I do take time out of my day to reply to all comments left on all of my videos. So let me know your thoughts on today's topic but without no further ado, let's jump right into the news. And to start today's off, we're going to go over what dropped yesterday. We got a 30 second TV spot teaser trailer for Detective Pikachu, which didn't feature anything new at first, but it did feature a new Pokemon that we haven't seen in the movie before. The Pokemon was Snubble, which looks cool, but I wish we gotten to see a better look of his body. As of right now, we only got a view of his head and it does look great in my opinion. Overall, I think the whole movie looks great. And if you want to check out my reaction to this 30 second teaser trailer and my full thoughts on everything Detective Pikachu check out my trailer reaction review I posted it yesterday as it was the biggest story that rolled out yesterday also do remember there's a rumor going around that we are set to get a full proper trailer for Detective Pikachu coming on the 28th so be on the lookout for that if that rumor is indeed true while on the topic of Detective Pikachu the studio behind the movie Legendary is already in the talks for two spin-off movies a Mewtwo movie and no not including the CGI movie Mewtwo Strikes Back evolution a totally new one in the style of detective pikachu we covered the new story a couple of days ago as it broke after the responses from the detective pikachu were great but today legendary was in the talks about a third movie also being in the works based on the original games red and blue this was coming from we got this i'm gonna have this article linked in the description if you guys want to check it out but basically to make a long story short what happened is that they got in contact with someone that is working with legendary i've suppose and their inside information is that yes there is a follow-up movie that is going to be the Mewtwo movie after Detective Pikachu which is going to be his origin story but then also they're working on a red and blue movie set to be based around the original Pokemon games as you guys know Pokemon Yellow is my favorite game of all time so of course I'm excited to hear about this movie being made of course but also I'm very very wondering on how exactly are they going to tell the story are they going to just you know collect all eight badges do the pokemon league and that's it are they gonna deviate and you know do the team rocket stuff while doing the eight badges it's a lot to cover that game is could be a, you know about less than 20 hours but to squeeze that and compact that into a movie format i kind of worried on how exactly they're gonna do that but i'm sure and i have faith that that they could make it good because detective pikachu is looking good from just looking at it from the trailer that we gotten but fingers crossed that does translate well into the movie format and uh, let's just hope all goes well also in the news we also got some new information about some brand new pokemon merchandise from the pokemon mewtwo strike back evolution cgi movie regarding this cool looking mewtwo style pokeball again i don't know too much about the merchandise stuff i will refer you guys to um, paul ryan's video on it he got the scoop and he deep dives on exactly what it is and how this merchandise is going to come out and the dates and stuff like that so if you want to check out more on this topic itself i'm gonna have a link in the description to his video but I think this is look cool it's probably nothing that I'm gonna get personally I'm not too into collecting a whole bunch of Pokemon toys while I do love it and it does look cool you know with me having a baby to take care of and all I probably should have stayed away from the toys at least today older and know that it's daddy's toys last but not least let's talk about the backlash from the latest Pokemon go event that happened about Feebas and this Feebas event about how you had to go to a Pokestop spin a stop and then you got a basically a research task a mission you had to complete the mission and that mission gained you a chance to catch a shiny feebas now a lot of players were complaining that this kind of sucked the missions that they had were kind of you know long gated and there were long missions and if you didn't have a particular mission you didn't have the one with the shiny feebas and if you did sometimes you didn't have the one with the shiny feebas it was a lot of misinformation flying around about how to exactly get the shiny feebas and then on top of that we only had a three hour window so a lot of people were complaining about that especially with just having the community day last week which was a success but also a lot of people were complaining that these three hour windows that Niantic is demanding from players is kind of you know set for the hardcore players and not too much of the casuals but at the same time it is fun community day is fun but this time around this special style event where you had to go to different Pokestops within the three hour window was kind of daunting on certain players and a lot of players ended up getting 
getting no luck at all, even while completing tons of missions. So a lot of people were sore that they didn't get a shiny Feebas during this event. And a lot of people were just upset on how Niantic chose to roll out this event, like giving us a quick warning that this event was coming out. And then when it rolled out, we only had a three hour window, which again, would have been more suitable if they gave us a whole weekend for an event of this style where you have to go to Pokestop to get a shiny Feebas. I do know why they wanted it in that three hour window. It kind of makes sense when you have hardcore players, you know, when I'm having an abundance of shiny Feebas, because again, that Pokemon is rare, but then on top of that, you want the shiny to feel special in the game. So it's kind of split the community half and half. Let me know your thoughts on how this event went for you. Have you gotten a shiny Feebas? And what are your thoughts on improving this event in the future? My best idea or thought will be just branch the event down to a whole day. Give us people 24 hours to go out and adventure because that will get people that are at work, you know, time to go after work or before work or whatever the case. They can hunt out a couple of Pokestops and be at it all day rather than consolidate to a three hour window. What do you think should be done for this style of event? Let me know in the comment section below. Now that's going to be it guys for today's news video. Let me know your thoughts on everything that we covered today from the Pokemon Go fiasco last weekend to the Detective Pikachu 30 second teaser trailer that dropped yesterday. And also this Mewtwo Strikes Back Pokeball. What are your thoughts on it? Do you like it? Are you going to cop it? Let me know in the comment section below. I want to hear from you guys. Like always, this is an open discussion and I do answer all comments. So I'll see you guys down there if you want to chat it up. I'm going to see you guys on the next one. I love you guys. Peace. Like always, guys, I'm Daddy I'm a Fred on Instagram and Twitter. And you guys can bring the conversation there. I'm the American gamer in Switzerland right here on YouTube. And yes, I'm going to be doing a ton of videos just like this one. So if you enjoy, please hit that subscribe button. Also hit the like button. It does help me out a ton as far as growing the channel is concerned. Ring the bell if you want to be notified on the next time I drop a video. Peace. I'm going to see you guys on the next one.